What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rory Reed and as the title states, we are finally at 100 subscribers. I want to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. This video is going to be our 100 subscribers special, so I'm really excited. And uh, as you know, the end goal of my uh, work on this channel is to get the channel monetized and self-sustained. So I really appreciate all you guys that recently subbed to the channel to help me to meet that first goal of 100 subs. It's a small goal, but you know, it's monumental for anybody who does YouTube. It's a monumental goal, monumental goal uh, for you to reach. And so I'm greatly uh, appreciative to you guys. About 90% of the people that watch this channel and watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. So I'd say within the last 28 days, I got about 60 plus subs. So I don't know which video it was or, or what's the reason, but I'm really grateful to you guys to help, for helping me hit that goal. And, um, you know, it's just, you know, just a good time. And when you put this much work in uh, to a channel, you, you want to see a little bit of uh, feedback. And, you know, uh, the sub count goal is, is one way to do that. And I am really, really appreciative. At the time that I'm making this video right now, I'm at about 130 or so um, subscribers. By the time it airs, it'll be uh, it'll be more, I'm sure, because as I said, I've been getting about two to three subs a day or so. So, you know, I, just, I'm just happy, man. I'm just happy and grateful. So, um, in this video now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over probably about three pieces from the past year, 2021, and just um, talk about my progression uh, throughout the year. I'm going to discuss color palettes, I'm going to discuss uh, what I learned from these pieces, and what I'm going to take with me in the future for my current work in 2022. Alright, the first piece we're going to jump into YouTube is a piece titled Egg Static, E-G-G -G, Static, and um, this was a piece that I began about three or four years ago and then I got kind of got stuck on it. Um, that was largely due to poor planning. As I've said in some of my previous videos, if you don't plan out what you're going to do, about half the time you're going to get stuck and get discouraged along the way. So this was one of the examples I had of that happening to me. And I recently, last year, revisited the piece and sort of revamped it with my new color palette that I'm using, the turquoise uh, blue-green and the raw umber and I really really love the aesthetic in this piece it has a little bit of a Salvador Dali feel with a modern twist and um, I'm incorporating these colors and techniques into landscapes that I'm actually doing and working on right now if you follow me on Twitch you've seen that I've been streaming uh, in this past week of a current landscape I'm working on from uh, a place here in Florida which is actually the Dali, Dali Museum coincidentally so I'm um, that's a, that's a weird, weird coincidence. I didn't really even think about that. But the techniques and um, aesthetics that I learned in the egg static piece, this piece you see right here, are what I'm using now in this uh, current 2022 landscape of the Salvador Dali Museum that I'm working on. So that's the first piece I wanted to discuss. And without further ado, let's jump right into the second piece. All right, the second piece is a piece titled Winter in the City. It's a, another landscape piece of uh, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge here in, uh, in Florida. So this piece also, when I, when I originally worked on it, I thought it was done, but it did kind of end up looking sort of empty and flat. If I can um, find an original uh, picture of the piece, I'll, I'll include it in the video. Not sure if I still have one, but this is the, how the piece currently looks. And um, I did revisit the piece as well add in more abstractions and more um, loose brushwork just to add a bit more painterly, um, you know, a bit, a bit of painterly feel to it, which makes the piece much more interesting. Personally, myself, I am getting away from doing like the hyper-realism and the super-realism works and trying to, you know, keep a, sort of a painterly feel to my pieces now uh, moving forward because to me, it just it's just more interesting to let the the viewer know that this is in fact a painting and it just gives more stuff to look at rather than just basically looking at a photograph, you know what I'm saying? So that's just my personal view though. No, no shade to anyone that does uh, hyper-realism or, you know, in-depth, uh, high-level realism. Um, so this was the second piece and that's what I learned from this piece as well is to just add a bit, a bit more interest, happy little mistakes. Um, to keep the piece interesting and to keep the piece 
you know, engaging to the viewer. They can go from left to right on the canvas and look at the different brush strokes and brushwork to see, um, you know, how to get a sort of a clue as to how you accomplish what you accomplished in the final result. So that's the second piece, Winter in the City, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge here in St. Pete in uh, Florida. And um, that's the second piece. Time to jump into the third. This last piece now is a figurative piece that I did recently and uh, it's currently my best performing video on the channel. A lot of you guys seem to, to like this one as well. I've gotten decent engagement and decent watch time on this uh, piece. It's called Translucent as you can see here. And um, it was one of the letter ones that I did in a series of figurative pieces. I did about five or six of them on the channel as you can see. And this was one of the ones I did towards the end. So it kind of culminated in all the little tips and tricks I learned along the way. It is probably one of my favorite ones along with another one called Gaze. And that's because everything just sort of came together. The lighting uh, in the piece, the shadow work, the um, how the torso faded out into the background and then the parts that I wanted to highlight were moved, pushed forward into the foreground via the, uh, the, you know, the lighting scheme. And uh, just overall texture, technique, values, everything just sort of came together on this piece. It's one of the ones I'm very proud of and you guys seem to like it as well based on how the video uh, of the time lapse is doing on the uh, channel. I assume this is the video that, that brought a lot of you new viewers in our new subscribers in so really appreciate it again and so all of these now the work that I've done this last year is gonna come together with my work that I'm doing this year I want to do some elaborate landscapes with figurative pieces sort of like the old Renaissance era type stuff but with a twist and um, the work that I did last year served to uh, solidify that as far as my style goes in color palette in um, Te technique as far as how I want my figures to look, how I want my skin tones to look, and you know, focal points on the body itself and the landscape itself, what I want uh, to be a focal point and what I don't want to be a focal point. I push back in the shadows and vice versa. I push what I want into focal point into the highlights of the piece. So different little tips and tricks like that is what I gained from all the painting I did last year. And you'll see that come to fruition this year on the channel. So go ahead and subscribe so you can see my upcoming work. And, um, you know, very excited for the for this year. I already have a couple pieces in the works on the wall. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. So there you have it, guys. Those were the three pieces that I wanted to review from last year. And to end this video, I just want to comment on the direction of the uh, channel. I've stated this before on the channel, but it's worth uh, repeating for the new subscribers that we've recently gotten. This channel is going to be dedicated strictly to um, black art and Caribbean art with a biblical twist on it. Uh, that's going to be my main focus. Doesn't mean that I won't be doing other stuff as well. As the work comes, uh, I'll you know do it and then upload it to the channel per usual. But the main focus or niche of this channel will be black art. So uh, if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and follow, and um, you know follow me on all social media as well to. Um, if, if you're interested in that specific type of artwork. It's gonna encapsulate portraits, uh, landscapes, and figurative work, and sometimes all three in one. And, um, you know, yeah, more of the same of what I've been doing before, but now it just, it'll just be more laser focused. And so if you're interested in that, as I said before, go ahead and support the channel. I'm also gonna be including some beginner tutorials. Um, thinking if I wanna do uh, beginner still lifes or beginner like, um, anatomy type uh, tutorials. I um, want to do these just to add some, um, you know, help or some value to the channel, as I said, or value to the viewers. Um, I recently went to like an artist meetup here uh, where I live and uh, one of the people there, or one of the fellow artists who was in attendance said that he watched my How to Paint an Apple tutorial from way back in the day. So that kind of got me thinking, why did I stop doing the tutorials? And, you know, um, I should do more to help out um, the viewers of the channel. So I'm going to be including some beginning tutorials as well. You know, doing things like how to paint an eye, how to paint hands, that kind of thing, just on a beginner level though, just to get people uh, 
up to speed as far as um, you know high level painting and hopefully to help them avoid some of the mistakes I made when I, I began. So I'm going to be including those. Comment down below if you, you have a specific um, area you want me to go in. You want me to go more in the direction of a still life or more, go more in the direction of like how I work and do the anatomy in, in, in my uh, paintings. Uh, so yeah, definitely let me know. Other than, that, other than that, man, I just want to say thank you guys once again for subbing to the channel. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. Look forward to what's coming up for 2022. Go ahead and like, comment, and share this video to your family and friends. Also, follow me on all social media. My links are going to be down below. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I'm on uh, Facebook as well. So if you're using any of those, um, you know, hit up your boy. And also... I have uploaded some designs to uh, Teespring as well, some merch. If you guys are interested in supporting me directly and this channel, go ahead and purchase a t-shirt or a hoodie or whatever it is that you like. And um, if you have any requests as well, go ahead and send those to me and I'll see if I can design something to upload to the store. Thank you guys as well. 100 subs special. It's your boy Trip, and I'm out. Peace.